Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and in this video, we're gonna look at some great math case studies for teachers that are taking the new general curriculum 278, as well as some of the other math uh, exams involving the 65, 63, and 68. We're gonna look at what characteristics you can put in your essays to get the maximum amount of points and to help you with the structure of the essays. Let's take a look at these case study problems right now. Let's go. When we looked at this combo essay, who found this case study challenging? This, this one involving the tree and the shadow. Okay, so when we, when we, we've already gone through the math to solve this, but when we look at the, these teachers and their work, right? I want you to understand that uh, no one's perfect, right? We're gonna highlight this stuff that really works and and if you struggle, use this to help you, okay? Let me show, uh, I'm gonna jump to Derek. I want you to take a moment, and I just want you to read over the opening, Derek's opening. Just that piece there, okay? Just take a moment, take 30 seconds and do that. And tell me when you've, you've read it, okay? Just keep, tell me when you read it. I like this opening a lot. I like how he, he introduced this idea of using proportional reasoning. And that was in the question, right, Derek? That was in the question. Use your understanding of proportional reasoning. And I like how he incorporated that. Derek has a nice definition of proportions here. And he also has a definition of a, a, a ratio. Is that right? So he's got two pieces of vocabulary right up front. Okay, what's another nice thing about Derek's, uh, what else does Derek do? So Derek has key vocabulary and definitions. What else does Derek include that works? He's included a what? A diagram. So this could just be written as a diagram or a pictorial representation. But I think it's really important that that you have a diagram if you're going to be using something like this. I mean, if you have an opportunity, put a diagram in. And I just want to emphasize, I like how he kept the units correct. No confusion there, right? Nice job with, with not making a, a careless mistake with uh, the units. Good job. And then just point out some other things here, too. Uh, <clears throat> my, my handwriting is like chicken scratchings, okay? But, but uh, let's just look at the steps here. Write a proportion. Multiply to find the cross products. Is that hard to do? I mean, seriously, team, this is, is this complex? It's simple. It's clean. It's a recipe, right? It, it's a recipe. So, so I know teachers have a hard time. They're like step one. I think step I think you do a diagram and then step one is write a proportion. You just do the diagram as part of your opening. But um, you you decide what you want to do, how you want to do that. But it's clean, and that's what I want to emphasize with this, okay? Doesn't have to be a mate, it's clean, and then we have the work. Uh, we have this and, and then we have the work. Let's look at uh, Chloe. Chloe, are you here? Nice. Chloe did, by the way, Derek and Chloe. Uh, each did an amazing poster too. Very nice job. So, so, so Derek, you did a great job. And I want to look at Chloe's work now. Take a moment and look at this. I know it's hard to read. Uh, the um, I, I tried to darken it up to get the to read it, but take a moment, look at it for a moment. What do you what do you like about it? Who likes these headings? Prerequisite concepts, prerequisite formulas, graphic representation of the problem. Isn't that nice? I like it. And, and it's it doesn't have to be boxed in, but the titles really help. Chloe is 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 showing off in a way, right? 
What I mean in a way is that she has a section on prerequisite concepts, right? A section on formulas, a sections on, on a, a diagram or picture or graphic representation. And it's, it's, it's sort of at the very top of the problem. Uh, imagine if you're, it's like, it's like the grader here and the grader is looking at all these exams and they look at this opening to Chloe's and, and they're going to be like, you had me at graphic representation, <laughs> right? right? They're going to just be, wow. So let's just zoom in. Let's just zoom in a little bit real quick and just look at each one. So under prerequisite concepts, we have a definition of ratios and a definition of proportions. Very good. I love it. <laughs> and I know this is a little hard to see, <coughs> but Chloe cites ratios that are actually used in the problem, right? And a proportion that's used in the problem. Do you see how that works? You see what I mean? That works, right? Or how about this one right here? Uh, oh, Got to go back and get it. Uh, prerequisite concepts with formulas. I mean, this is a formula here. A over B is equal to C over D. And inches into feet. That's important too, right? Nice job. And then, and then and lastly, let's look at this diagram. Wow, right? It does the job, okay? We have this and this. We don't know what this is. And I think the last piece is the, the 19 feet, right? <clears throat> nice job. Now you can tell, I really like Courtney's work. I liked it because, you know, I think everyone could do this, all right? So let's look at this here. Is there a section in the very beginning where she shows off her awareness of vocabulary? Right there, right? Thumbs up. And we got definitions of proportion and ratio. And again, uh, Courtney, use the stuff from the question, right? So get, your example should be the proportion from the question, right? Um, we have uh, formulas. Look at the formulas. And then and simplify for success. Okay, that's fine. But, but I like the formula there. Nice and clean, nice and clean. And then finally, we have the diagram. So we have, we have key vocab. It has its own section. We have some key formulas, one or two formulas. And then we have that nice, clean diagram. Step one, make a visual. That's fine. Who likes it, team? Nice and clean. We have steps. Let me just circle the steps here. Do me a favor and just take a moment and read the steps, just the writing. Just the writing. Let's just focus on Courtney's writing. <coughs> Tell me when you've read step two. Step three, step four. Give me a thumbs up when you've read that. Clean, right? Doesn't have to be long. Doesn't have, it, everyone's going to be different, right? But this is nice and clean, very direct, like a recipe, right, Derek? Like a recipe? Step four, divide both sides to solve for X, clean. Not, no, I would divide, you should divide, the teacher should divide, we all should hold hands and divide. No, just like a recipe, dry. Divide both sides by, uh, to solve for X, right? That's what we're looking for in this. That's what a recipe is. It's, it's, you know, it's just a simple sentence. And then the work, let's look at the work. Now let's just focus on the work here for a moment. Take a look at the work here. Here, let me clear clear off the, the writing. We say it and then we show the work. Do you get it? Here's our proportion. It's being divided by 12 and here's our new proportion. Nice job. Here's, here's uh, uh, Courtney's work for uh, cross multiplication. We see, we see that long division, 
And then we have that final answer at the very bottom. Okay, thumbs up. That don't worry about it. It does the job. Nice job, Courtney. So team, I'm just I want to show you this stuff. Your your problems, your case studies, whatever you have is going to be different. Okay. But every and everyone has their own strengths here. Take a look at these, see if you can learn from these, okay? You have to if you have to watch the videos again, you can watch the videos again. But they all they all have their own strengths and characteristics. They did a very nice job, okay? All right, team, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to give it a big thumbs up. And if you need help on these exams, you're looking for some additional support, I want you to go to Go Academy's website. You can go to this website right here at www.goacademy.com and you can see all our classes. These are live classes. They have a live component. They're webinars, but they have a live, live webinar component as well as um, full access to all the videos that Go Academy does. I'm sure you're gonna find these classes very helpful if you need the extra help. So check it out if you do. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care, team. Bye-bye.